Downtown Dog 19 here, and I am uh, reviewing my new my updated mock brass. I'm gonna update him one more time and review that once I get the right pieces, because unfortunately I don't have very many new Glatorian pieces, and in Australia the Glatorian legends aren't coming out till first of August, and that really pisses me off because. Like everywhere else in the world, they came out like 50 years ago. And now we're only just getting them. Anyway. Uh, okay. To the mock. Uh, I'm going to review his weapon first. It is a blade from, um, uh, what do you call it? Brutaka. Um,. It was a very, very good set, but I gave it to my friend for his birthday, and he gave me the piece because he's, like, getting out of Lego now, um, and my uncle. Uh, he didn't really give it to me, he's just loaning it to me. This piece is a Nuva piece from the shoulder pad. Uh, I used a lot of pieces from Rock OT3 in this. He's got blades on the back. Very, 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 very big we uh, weapon in comparison to a normal barnacle. Um, like a normal tower. You, like, smash the crap out of them with one hit. And, like, dissect them into thirds. Um, his mask, I did not spray paint, actually. I haven't spray painted any of the pieces on this. Uh, the inside is not spray painted either. Main color scheme, silver. Um, now, if you watch Barnacle Alex review on Gold Silver, or Gold Silver or something like that. Um, he got the idea of a silver mock of um, uh, Shadow Gear 6335. I watched that video, but I made this before I even knew Shadow Gear 6335 existed, so uh, I wanted to make a big silver one, and his backstory was going to be that he was chained up and locked in a room, and it was buried underneath... Um, uh, Baramonga for so many years that when they revived him he just didn't know a thing and they educated him on his um uh, on his past and then he became this guy but now my backstory is going to relate to Bionicle Alex Bionicle Alex 789 his uh review of Baramonga, I think it was, or, no, not Baramonga, um, uh, something to do, I forget his name, ah, anyway, this backstory relates to him, um, it's his lightning guy, it's like his favourite mock, anyway, this is like brother, a uh, brother of him, and Takanuva, um, uh, yeah, it, this is like his brother or something, and he's also brother of um, Takanuva, and he was betrayed by Takanuva um, in the past. And Takanuva, they were originally going to have. He's also brother of um, Mata Nui. He's linked between the three of those guys. Um, Mata Nui was a very, very greedy. Um, a very greedy tower or spirit legend um, and this guy was going to be the chosen spirit and uh, he was going to be like the Mata Nui um, but Mata Nui was greedy and he locked them up in the um, thing deep under Baramanga uh, then when uh, my own uncle Alex Mock when he was searching for Takanuva, he found this underneath um, Baramanga and uh, he put the mask on top of um, his face and it became this. No, he, didn't, he didn't put the mask on his face, he put the mask back on this guy, uh, which is pretty clever. Um, and he equipped him with Mari blasters and uh, he was in there with, um, the Mari taken underneath the water, and, yeah, that's pretty much the backstory, anyway. Uh, I used that off by Uncle Alec, 
He's still got a bit of updating to do. Like, I've got to do some stuff on him. Um, i got to give him those boomerang pieces coming off there or, or there, anywhere. i just got to make them pretty complicated. Well, I feel the need to. Anyway, a downtown dog out.